Hi, a very good day to you and welcome to AWS 101. My name is Kwan and I'm a Senior Solutions Architect from the Worldwide Public Sector team. And it is my pleasure to share with you the AWS Shared Responsive Model in five minutes. We often hear from our customers, if I am to have my applications running on the cloud, will it be automatically secured and compliance to all the great security compliance standards in the industry? Well, as perfect as it may sound, the reality might not be much of that. Even in the cloud, it is very important for us to understand the roles and responsibilities between a cloud provider like AWS, as well as those of the customer. Only through this collaboration and handshake, we are able to ensure your applications and data are highly secured when they run on the cloud. Well, okay, great one. I truly understand and agree with you about that notion where both of us have to have this great handshake, right? So that we can completely run our applications on your cloud safely. But mm, where do I start? Does AWS provide a guidance on how to advise their customers of this? Well, the good news is we actually do. In AWS, Secret is job zero, by which, we, by which we mean it is even more important than any number one priority in AWS. Security and card compliance is really a shared responsive model between AWS and our customers. In order for us to provide a prescriptive guidance to our customers on this topic, AWS has come up with a shared responsive model, which provides a crisp, clear definition to firstly distinguish the scope and responsibility between our customers and AWS, as well as the guidance on how we are able to collaborate with our customers to resolve those gaps through provided through our security offerings. Only with a complete coverage of those controls that spans across the scopes of responsibilities of both personas, we are able to confidently ensure that your applications are secure and ready to comply to the stringent securities in security standards in the industry. Now let's dissect deeper into the shared responsibility model, shall we? Now, as you can see, there's a clear distinction between what we can say as security in the cloud and what is security of the cloud. AWS will be responsible for security of the cloud, such as the protecting the infrastructure that runs all the services offered in the AWS cloud. Customers, on the other hand, will need to be responsible with security in the cloud, which revolves around the security of the applications that runs in the cloud. So we've got the definition right, Let's dwell deeper on what are the actual scope for each of these. Now, AWS is responsible for security of the cloud, which means AWS is responsible to protect the global infrastructure that runs all the services offered in the cloud. This is composed of the hardware, software, network, as well as the facilities that runs all our services. Protecting this infrastructure is our number one priority. What about customers? Customers is responsible for security in the cloud, which refers to the security measures that customer implements and operates in relation to the content of the applications. Customers retain control of security that they have implemented to protect their platform, content, applications, systems, and networks, just as they do when you run their applications in your accessing on-prem data center. That being said, do take note, the level of scope is also being determined by the AWS service that you use. For example, using a serverless or a managed service will have less scope to be defined compared to using a virtual machine such as an EC2 instance. Now, for example, let us take a similar scenario where you have a web application that runs EC2 over an Oracle RDS using S3 to store document and files. A service such as the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2, requires customers to perform all the necessary configurations and management tasks. Customers that deploy EC2 instances are responsible for management of the guest operating systems, which includes patches, as well as any application software or utilities that you install on the instances itself, and of course, the configurations of the firewall for each of the instances. For abstracted or managed services such as Amazon S3 or Amazon RDS, the fact that AWS operates the infrastructure layer as well as the OS and platform, customers access only the endpoints to store and retrieve the data. In this case, customer is only responsible for managing their data, which includes classifying the assets as well as using the IAM tools to apply the appropriate permissions. 
So we have really gone through the fundamentals of shared responsive mode, where we have carved out the scopes and responsibility of the relevant parties within the cloud. Now let us spend some time to do a quick knowledge check of our understanding of sh the shared responsive model, shall we? So the first one, configuring the security groups that determine which ports are to open during uh, for each of the EC2 Linux instance. So for those who have chosen customer responsibility, you're right. What about preventing packet sniffing at the hypervisor layer? So the fact that this is under the hypervisor layer, that means that this should be security of the cloud. What about patching the guest operating systems with the latest security patches? Well, this should be security in the cloud, which falls under customers. So, what about shredding this drive before they leave a data center? Now, this literally revolves around physical hardware, right? So that should be under the jurisdiction or responsibility of AWS. The same goes with securing the internal network within AWS data center. Now, what about installing CCTV to monitor the physical data center? Again, these are re relevant to the data center security, right? So that should be a response of AWS. And lastly, toggling on the server-side encryption features for all the S3 buckets. Now, this is specific to encryption of the workloads that runs within AWS. So in essence, this should be the responsibility of the customer because you as a customer will define what is the encryption policy that you want to implement for the files and documents that is being stored in your environment. So we literally have gone through a brief overview of the shared responding model. So for our dear customers who are keen to get more understanding about this topic, kindly do visit the landing page to the URL provided here. We hope that we are able to provide some valuable information to you on this topic and we look forward to see you soon. Thank you very much. And that is Shared Responsive Model in 5 Minutes.